I'd like to start this off by saying thank you to each and every person who has actually wished me happy birthday today. Um, it's been a special day uh, for me. Not only as just obviously you're growing up, you're getting older, but just appreciating life and appreciating the people that you have um, around you. Um, I just want to actually do this as a way of saying that I am truly grateful. I'm truly grateful of everything I've had so far in life, be it bad, be it good, um, because everything that has happened to me has got me to where I am currently right now. And I just want to say, first of all, to each and every person who wished me happy birthday today, um, especially those early morning calls and video calls that um, caught me off guard while I was still sleeping. Um, those were really wonderful. I really enjoyed that. And to the messages that I got, um, it was really a wonderful day. It was a very nice and relaxed, especially for me. So I really, really appreciated that. Um, <clears throat> so basically, I think the last time I did this, uh, this kind of videos was about five years ago. So I decided um, that tonight actually I should do one because, I mean, so many things have happened in my life between now and then. And I basically, yeah, just want to say again, I'm really grateful because you do have, like, there's this belief that I have in me that each and every person that you meet, um, they either come with good or bad intention either way each person will come and give you a lesson in life some of the people who have came in my life have brought me good lessons that i've learned that have made me grow <coughs> some oh well yeah life happened um so yeah basically it's that um you know some of the things i've learned actually in my little life you know is that Again, there's different kinds of people that are in your life, be it your family. Um, as you know, with um, when it comes to families, actually, families will teach you unconditional love because um, no matter where you are, no matter what you do, no matter what you do, your friends might, you know, throw you aboard. Um, your spouse or your partner might leave you but your family no matter what you do they're always there for you so they will teach you basically what is called like unconditional love and then you have your spouse or a partner those people i believe for me will teach you patience because it's almost like the first time that now you get to deal with someone else outside of your family but yet so intimate with the person that they get to see you as you and so basically uh, you learn to have patience and then you have children or <clears throat> be it biological or adopted, adopted I believe those kinds of people first of all will teach you <laughs> um, f first and foremost responsibility how to be a responsible person um, because now every action or everything that you do they mimic that and which is why we always need to try to be good examples um, so for an example <clears throat> for me I was fortunate enough that um, two years ago uh, almost two years ago yes um, I became a father which um, has been a very interesting journey a very beautiful one um, it's hard it's not easy but it's beautiful because in this day and age we live in an age where um, especially my kind um, we we run away from responsibility people just make babies and then phew, they disappear with the wind um, so basically it's that mentality because some like people like me have um, as some people might know I've <coughs> only grown up uh, I grew up actually with my dad's family. I've never actually even met my, my own biological mother. 
and yeah it's been a you know tough journey growing up but you get to pull through you get to learn quite a lot uh, <clears throat> and also that myth that oh if you didn't have uh, a parent or one parent you want to go to you're going to become a bad person or jail that doesn't exist it's it's up to you as a person um, so <clears throat> For me, that journey alone, it taught me to be a responsible person. It taught me to grow up. So, because you have now this person who looks up to you, um, even though he's still trying to speak. Um, but whenever that you see, whenever I see, like for example, when I see my son, um, you can hear his giggles. Um, <clears throat> like it's it's so beautiful, and actually he taught me love basically to know what love is because um, a previous video I did um, about fatherhood um, where I talked <coughs> intimately about um, you know how I felt you know being a father again I'll repeat that for me it's been such a very wonderful experience I'll never trade it for anything yeah again if I'm speaking gibberish or not making sense in the English language English is my second language. This Tosa is my first language. Because if I want to do Benzo Teta and then Benning Azondi Fumanti. Anyways. <clears throat> and then now you have like the group of people who are your friends. Um, they all come in shapes and sizes. Um, <clears throat> some, some people come with really good intentions. Like for example, my some, my, some of my friends, they like, I talk a lot and which I, I don't mind I don't mind talking uh, because for me I, <coughs> it's my way of communicating and so you have like those kinds of people who build you um, uh, so whenever that you come up with anything crazy idea or whatever fantasies that you have like for me <coughs> I call myself a technophile I have my friends who keep up with that like oh he likes certain things or they come and ask me questions about oh what's happening in the world of tech um, when it comes to these things and then you have kinds of friends who give you life lessons um, some of them good basically there are some people where I can talk um, <clears throat> for example if I can talk with my family but I can talk to them very intimately and talk like almost talk to, to them about anything and these people will give you some very good good advice um, because I always say when someone gives you an advice um, it's always you actually you have to make the final decision behind it um, so yeah some of my friends have really taught me good lessons which have made me the person that I am today they've built me they've molded me and then you do have some people <coughs> who might call yourself friends because they need something out of you um, those people actually they also to teach you lessons basically I know it might not be nice but then you get to learn that there's what you call it um, so if you think of like a color spectrum that's basically people they all come in different colors and people come to you with different goals and things to achieve some come some leave but anyway it's life <clears throat> so basically th for me that's why I always appreciate friends and also I always try to keep my circles as small as possible because I <clears throat> I'm the kind of a person that I like to make sure that when I meet a person I get to learn a lot about them um, in a very sometimes in a very short space of time or sometimes for long term because some of my friends I've known them for over 20 years um, so which is quite amazing um, so I appreciated that and then you also have um, different kinds of people also some of the people actually I like to acknowledge my colleagues uh, those are some of the people who actually have built me um, especially in my professional world because um, also these people they come from different walks of life and they bring that experience because actually <laughs> if you don't believe it you spend most of your life with your colleagues more than anyone else so these are some of the people that I truly, I truly appreciate, um, especially in my office because they allow me to do crazy things. I mean, like your TikToks. Come to think of it, I haven't done it.
Hi Wednesday is not a while. Oh, those will come. <clears throat> In fact, actually, I'm going to be trying out when it comes to that part of things that I'm going to try something different. And also, again, as I started this video, was that I did this just to say I'm here to say I appreciate everything that I've had in my life so far. I mean, I just sat down the other day where I was thinking that I've actually achieved so many things in my life um, that so many people never actually got a chance. So I was privileged enough to actually to be able to achieve such things at a very even young age. Like um, again, for me, that's just I've achieved quite a lot. But again, that's just a tiny bit of what I really want to achieve because I believe I have so much more potential to do great things. Um, like way I was saying that actually very <clears throat> soon enough that actually I would have traveled to five continents well if I include Africa yes so it's five continents and hopefully one day before um, I leave this planet I would have traveled all seven especially Antarctica um, it's one of those places that really intrigued me. Uh, there's also, yeah, so many other crazy ideas that I have and I want to try. And then again, this is where I'm saying I appreciate the kinds of people that I have because I can say something and they like, like you can see from their faces that they're like, what? That's crazy. But then, as Steve Jobs once said, crazy people are the ones that really change the world. And yes, to those people who know how much I'm not an Apple fan, yes. Just because I'm not an Apple fan, it doesn't mean I do not believe <coughs> um, some of the things that they produce. I love actually their products, but not for me, but I just love what they have in them. Um, so yeah, I really appreciate those people. I mean, even my personal hero, um, he's vilified though by many people, um, like a person like Elon Musk that... This guy is such a visionary that he thinks of something which doesn't make sense to anyone, but he goes out in his way to prove it that it can actually work and it can do wonders. Um, I've followed this guy for a couple of years now and he's, yeah, he might be crazy, but he does things, he makes things work. Okay, now let me stop about um, going off topic and being gibberish just again just lastly just to say once again thank you very much to each and every one of you um, again I really appreciate each and every one of you because as I said every person comes into your life to teach you lessons be it good be it bad so yeah just take life as it is um, live life um, people might say life is short life is long life is really long um, so that gives you enough time to achieve so many things that you'd like to achieve in life so just go out and chase your goals I know we all wish we could have so much money to achieve our dreams but start small that's why okay just to add I said I was stopping again appreciate every little opportunity that you get because that helps you actually to grow <clears throat> to become the person that you really want to be or to live your dreams so if you someone ever gives you an opportunity out there grab it with, with both hands because you never know exactly oh am i cut for okay <laughs> before i was rudely interrupted <laughs> by a a full memory card um, I just want to say quickly but very lastly is that if someone ever gives you an opportunity no matter how small or no matter how insignificant it may be grab because you never know um, where that opportunity will take you again to quote um, from you know everyone's favorite rapper Eminem is that opportunity sometimes may only come once in a lifetime so grab that opportunity it might not be what you want right now 
but you never know where that opportunity will take you and elevate you in life so all in all um, have a good night have a good week and have a good um, 2019 and yeah I don't know when I'll do some of these videos um, but yeah because there's also some crazy plans when it comes to video work that I like to try out and hopefully depending on how this one goes cheers Bye.